Hi, this is Vijay Bambani and I'm hoping that you're keeping your finger on the pulse of the market. My videos are helping you understand the market better, help yourself to become better traders and I'm also adding to your knowledge base. Hey, these videos are for you and I aim to uh, uh, add value to your experience in the market and make you better traders. And I love to hear from you. Keep your feedback coming. This video is actually an update to my previous video wherein I said the Nifty has the potential to go to 10,200 once the 10,800 level was breached. The 10,800 level was indeed breached uh, uh, on Thursday when uh, the Nifty uh, made a low of 10,790 on an intraday basis. So is the 10,200 10, view still intact? And is there any possibility of uh, a change uh, uh, in the blueprint? Now, before you comment, uh, whether negatively or positively, I assure you of one thing, I am not changing my view about the 10,200 being possible. Remember in that video also, I said there is a probability, there's no guarantee because markets cannot be expected to be laser precise. Uh, human beings are a ball of emotions and their emotional decisions, both panic and greed, can impact prices and lend volatility. The higher the volatility, the more nervousness there is. And right now, volatility as it's, is, is at its highest. The bank nifty is the most volatile after 2nd September 2020 and the nifty 50s uh, volatility is at a multi-month high. So it's going to be a very, very uh, a bumpy uh, ride. Remember the roller coaster ride, the, the proverbial roller coaster. You are on the roller coaster. So uh, I'm not changing my view about 10,200, but there is something that I need to update you about, which you need to know at least for the next two or three sessions. And that is that the markets tend to move in cycles and every smart trader must know at which point in time on the calendar that trader is currently at vis-a-vis -vis the market so as to know whether he or she should be going long or going short. Now, if you're a weekly cash alert subscriber, you've received a booklet, a 16 or 18 page PDF booklet uh, called the weekly cash blueprint, wherein I have broken all the commodities uh, on a month by month basis uh, uh, telling you which commodity should uh, rise or fall in which particular calendar month of a year and more importantly why. The why is always more important to me as a behavioral uh, technical analyst because I want to know the underlying reason so I can gauge as to how big or how uh, uh, long on the time frame will a particular price move unfold. Now, uh, uh, between uh, November to uh, November 2019 to January 2020, uh, I'm definitely sure it was before the lockdown was enforced. I had recorded a video on um, uh, Equity Masters uh, Fast Profits Daily uh, uh, playlist, which you can uh, scroll through the archives. And uh, given uh, uh, reasons why the equity markets are also susceptible to uh, uh, trade within time cycles. Uh, Veteran uh, Fast Profits daily viewers will remember I had broken down uh, uh, the calendar in quarters and then um, uh, uh, I told you which, what happens in which quarter of the year and what happens in which month of the quarter and then uh, you can actually break it down to uh, the year in the election cycle and even the week of the month and day of the week. Now, this is not about uh, 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 whether this I'm not uh, giving weather forecasts or talking about calendars. I'm breaking down the market into cycles. All right. Uh, so in that video, I had recommended that uh, uh, you must pay particular attention to quarter endings. And right now, right now, we are in the end of September and this is the first half year ending of the financial year and also the second quarter's ending, which is why the most powerful people in the financial markets, which is the mutual fund industry, is going to buy so as to lift up their NAVs because SEBI law is very clear about the mutual fund industry reporting via the news media their performance, which is the NAV by declaring it in at least one regional newspaper and one national newspaper. So just 
apply your mind. Do you think the mutual fund industry will be proudly declaring lower NAVs or higher NAVs? Be the judge. I think till 30th of September and maybe till slightly longer because the retail trader does not really think along the lines that you and I think. Uh, 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 by now, you know how I think and what my thought process is likely uh, to be. So we know that the retail guys might just uh, 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 unknowingly or uh, uh, involuntarily keep buying even after the mutual funds have seen the 30th September timeline go by. Uh, which is why the rally might just prolong a little. But uh, the underlying reason is that till 30th September, if you are going to short, you're going to be banging your head against a wall, which is extremely strong, which is the mutual fund industry in this country. And the same law applies to the mutual fund industries the world over. Every quarter, they will come out with their NAV announcements, which is why I think the markets are likely to stay firm for the next couple of uh, trading sessions. I repeat my 10,200 or the bearish uh, market view that I have is not changed. It's just that the next couple of days, this is what it's going to be like. And remember, I said in that video, no move in the market should be expected to be linear. You can't take a foot ruler and draw a straight line and say this is how the market's going to go. It's crazy to assume that the markets will go as you expect them to. No such uh, myth should be nursed. Now, let me just walk you through a couple of numbers which will fortify my view that what happened on Friday in terms of the rally on the uh, broad markets in the financial capital markets in India was uh, the handiwork of institutions rather than retail traders. So on Friday, the Nifty rose 2.26% after falling 2.93% on Thursday, which means the majority of the declines of uh, Thursday were almost, almost covered up on Friday. The Bank Nifty rose 2.57% after uh, uh, falling 3.41% uh, on Thursday. So in relative comparative terms, the Bank Nifty continued to underperform the Nifty 50. We know why. Uh, uh, banks are particularly soft in, in terms of performance and uh, they are some of the weakest stocks out there in the markets. Also remember, uh, 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 this is a universal phenomena. Whenever there is a time of crisis, whenever there is a time of uh, 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 God or man-made uh, 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 kind of disturbances, uh, uh, either war or hurricanes or earthquakes, etc., there is likely to be a whole lot of loss. And these losses are likely to result in a lot of insurance claims. In India, you may have the corona pandemic, in which case the insurance companies are facing a lot of claims. In the US, 116 year high activity in hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico and the US coast and a lot of damage caused by Hurricane Sally, Hurricane Teddy and a whole lot more hurricanes in the pipeline, Hurricane uh, Gamma, Hurricane uh, uh, Beta has already come and thrashed uh, the coast, Hurricane Epsilon, Hurricane Wiki, etc. Now, all these insurance companies basically have either uh, been promoted or a uh, majority of their stakes are held by banks. And when the insurance company loses, the banks also lose, which means the financial sector is likely to remain under pressure and that pressurizes the stock market. So this is why the banking sector is underperforming because the insurance companies are going to face a lot of claims. And as we know, insurance companies are either directly or indirectly connected via an umbil umbilical cord to the banking space. And the market capitalization on Friday rose by 3,70,863 crores after falling 3,92,444 crores on Thursday. Now, this looks like the handiwork of pretty strong hands. When the market capitalization rises by 3,70,000 crores in one trading session, I think it's an institutional uh, uh, rally rather than a retail fueled rally. The advanced decline ratio on Friday was 4.36, which means uh, uh, for every one loser, there were 4.36 shares which were gainers. And the same ratio on Thursday was 0 0.19, which means for 
every one gainer, there were more than four shares losers. And this reversal can only be brought about by institutions. This cannot be the handiwork of retail traders. So you can you can banish the thought that Robin Hood traders or newbie traders have triggered the rally on Friday. Now, here's something more interesting. What about uh, uh, the volumes, the turnover in the index futures? I'm including Nifty and Bank Nifty both. The turnover on the index futures was 5,80,863 lots on Friday, whereas on Thursday, which was a huge, huge declining day, was 7,31,372 lots. I admit that Thursday was an expiry day and a certain amount of volumes could be attributed to the rollover process also. But the fact remains, and you would have seen it uh, uh, in my uh, updates in Equity Masters uh, uh, Telegram channel, which you must join with the handle Equity Master Official as to how the turnover on Friday was definitely lower than an average weekend day's turnover. Now let's go to the stock futures uh, turnover on Friday. It was 8,29,014 lots. On Thursday, it was a whopping, a whopping 14,95,553 lots, which is almost double. Now even by no stretch of imagination, even if you were to take the fact that Thursday was an expiry day and therefore the turnover was 14,95,000 lots, it couldn't fall by almost half on Friday. So definitely the turnover is poor on a Friday in spite of the fact that the markets have almost gained back the declines of Thursday. So retail participation was definitely lacking on Friday. It was the institutions which have pushed up the markets. Nobody could have uh, triggered 3,70,000 crore worth of market capitalization in gains in one trading session. So before you get to see 10,200, get prepared in the next couple of trading sessions to see a rally, which may be weak in internals, which may tell you that the retail is not buying, but hey, the biggest guys in the market, the mutual fund industry is hell bent on propping up its NAV. This is the why of what is likely to happen. Will the mutual fund industry definitely succeed in pushing the markets higher? That remains to be seen. When will I change my bearish view? Only when the recent top at the 11,700 plus on the Nifty is taken out on the upside. And when I said a top has been activated and established, I do not mean a permanent top. A top was made in 2008, a top was made in 2011, a top was made in 2015. Was it a permanent top? No. All tops and all bottoms do get taken out. At least all tops, bottoms need not be. But what I meant when I said that a top has been established and activated, it's a near term top. It need not say that the market will never go above this at all. So we must keep swinging both ways and I mean only in the market as and when the uh, uh, weight of evidence that emerges forces us to change our opinion. As of now, as we speak, as I record this video, I don't think the weight of evidence tells me that nothing, uh, uh, I, I need to change my bearish view. I, I'm still cautious, I'm still uh, very, very cautious and somewhat bearish on the market and I will change my view if at all I'm required to and I assure you, you will get a fresh video from me in that situation. On this note, uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I remind you to click like on this video if you liked what you saw and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel in the comment section. Do let me know what you think of this video and uh, what you would want me to record next. And help me reach out to traders who need uh, to learn uh, a 360 degree worldview and uh, a behavioral finance view of the markets by recommending my video to your family and friends. And do take very good care of yourself, your health, your family, your investments, your trades. Have a very, very profitable day ahead. Vijay Bambuani signing off for now. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter 
Fast Profits Daily and get my free guide, How to Trade Markets Like a Pro.